YouTube, welcome back, welcome back. How you doing friends and family? It's our first Glitz Glam bag. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I am seeing some spoilers and I'm pretty happy with all the spoilers that I saw. And so let's just jump on in here. It comes, ooh, comes very tightly packed in some paper and I got an envelope and a couple of pieces of paper. Okay. So she leaves her card for fantasy palette makeup. And there's a coupon to save 20% off if you want to go to this young lady's website, Christina. No. Christer, Christy Ice Makeup. So that's her, beautiful girl, saved 20% on her fantasy palette. I guess they're doing a collab of some type, and it says use the code Christy Rice. So it looks like Chris Star Rice, but I'll leave it in the description bar, uh, bar in the bottom. Um, but yeah, she's got, I guess this is... Um, we must be featuring in the bag, in the, the bundle, because that's what they do, right? This is my first one, so I don't know all the things. But I got a handwritten note, which I thought was really nice. And it just says that these are my extra good glam. That's well, not very, very handwritten. But it does have a little smiley face and a, a heart at the bottom. I'm only covering my real name. Because, you guys, I love you, but... You don't need to know everything, right? Not at least not my real name at the moment. Um, but yeah, I did add on two eyeshadows from there. And then it comes with a Mother's Day card. It says Mother's Day, uh, Dear Blitz Glam Fam, Happy Mother's Day to all of the moms. Everyone, please stay safe and spread cheer. Always remember, we, do, we don't do basic. XOXO Blitz Glam Box Team. And then the back, it has all of our items and our prices. So, ooh, okay, okay. First thing I see is a nice big old bottle. It's not really big, it's about the size of my hand. It is Rose Passion 100% Rose Water Hydrating Face Mist. Hydrate Refresh all day. So... This is a Rose Passion Water. It is the perfect hydrating finishing touch. $10. Okay, just to the point. That's about it. <laughs> you know, that's what it said. And then we have... Ooh, cutesy poo. Pair of flirty lashes from... Flex Mink Lashes. $9.99. Reusable Mink Glam Lashes. You see that? The style? They're cute. Definitely would try that out. Sliding around on my lap are these two glitters. So we have do, 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 do. single shade duos from Pinky Rose. And I have them upside down, didn't I? Nope. Yeah, they were upside down. Pinky Rose. And they come in either... They're highly pigmented single shadows, glitter, matte, or shimmer. So I didn't even give a name of them on there. And there's no name on here. Nope. There's no name. Okay. And then we've got from Rude Cosmetics. This is very juicy, very juicy lip gloss. Five dollars. Root Cosmetic. Get the wet look plus moisturize without the sticky feel. That's important because nobody wants to be all sticky feel. Ooh, that's a pretty color. Let's see if it's opaque. I have tart. Ooh, that's a big foot. A big old dough foot. 
and a lot of product comes out on it. I'm going to put this at the bottom of my hand, right here at the bottom. Mmm. Oh, it reminds me of my childhood. <laughs> you ever smell some products that have that sweet scent of like your first lip gloss that had fruit flavoring in it but no color at all? That's what this reminds me of. This reminds me of my childhood. Like I instantly, boom, was hit with elementary school, middle school vibes. Just, mmm. And last is a magnetic palette. Ten dollars to put the pans in, which I thought was really, really cute. That's what I saw in the spoilers. I had this. I watched Just Anne. I love that lady. And if you're watching, love you, Just Anne. And when I saw that she had this, and then A, it's Amanda. I was like, I have got to get on board with these ladies and this blitz glam. I love lashes. I'm already involved with them with the lash club, and I already did the three boxes for them. So I just upgrade myself, you know, to the Glitz Glam. I mean, it's not... Oh my goodness, I, how can I tell you? I totally forgot the price of this box. Um, and it's hard as... It's hard getting this glitter out. Okay. Um, dang it. I'll have to leave it in the description box, because I know I... My cousin said that she got it. She doesn't do one month. We upgraded. She said we upgraded. So I don't know if it's three months, six months, but I think it was like sixty dollars uh, plus tax or something like that. So I'm gonna put them in the the pan, and then I'm gonna show you the shadows I added on. Now that I do know from watching Aids Amanda and um, just Anne, and there's no names on the back that you can double the glam and triple the glam with this box, and I was. It, for an additional price, you're able to double the glam. So I doubled the glam by getting... Did I leave it in the back? Oh, it's on my lap. Um, two extra shadows, and they came in this cute little pouch. And I don't know who told her, but I love the sun, the moon, and the stars. Like, everything I own is sun, moon, and stars, and I love that. I love that so much. I wish it was in blue, but the gold is pretty too. And these actually have names. So this is Sassy. And this is Twinkle. And Twink, they're both supposed to be matte, as far as I remember. But we shall see. Because we're going to put them on our eyes. Ooh, they come very protected. Yes, he's matte. Uh, and that was... Please tell me the names are on the back. Of course, the names are not on the back. Woo! Twinkle. This is Twinkle. So I can't even put it in there yet. He's a mat. Let's see. Here. And that's a, a light, rosy color that matches my skin tone. Put that on the top. And that way you can remember the name and put Twinkle on the top. I'm just going to cut out the the little label circle in the back and put it on the back. Ooh, and this is sassy, and sassy is sassy. Oh my goodness, look at that. That's a bad girl right there. Ooh. Oh, I love that. That is a really pretty burgundy color. That's a bad color, oh my goodness. But bad in a good way. Um, let's try the glitter. I'm trying to touch it very softly, and a lot comes off very softly. And that's the top glitter. It's very junky. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have a night. Oh, it doesn't stay on very good. It doesn't stay on very good. It's just coming off. <sighs> it's going to look like Tinkerbell got a hold of me while I was sleeping. That's what happens when you go to Never Never Land can come back and forth whenever she wants and just on your face. No, that didn't come out right, but oh my goodness. So, woo, we're going to try a look with these. I thought they would go really nice together, but um, I'm scared now. <laughs> I'm scared just a little bit of the glitter because oh my god, the glitter. Oh my god, the glitter. So how we get the glitter to stick, we're going to do one of these bad boys. Let's see here. Pick us a nice sticky, sticky.
sticky base. I have some It Cosmetic Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer, I believe. Yep, yeah, concealer. I'm going to put that on the back of my hand. Just a dot. Because I know that will help make it stick. Okay. So I have nothing on my eyes at all. So I'm going to put the It's Cosmetic where my ears go. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm losing my mind. If my head wasn't screwed on, I would lose it. Okay, so stick that on there. Bum, bum, bum. Did everybody have a, a great week? I hope, because it is going to be a nice, hot, or rainy weekend, depending on where you are. Um, not really looking forward to that if it rains, because I wanted to do some gardening. I just got all my soil taken care of, all the weeding done. I had that, you know, I did a big haul job on the day before, ah, before Mother's Day. Sorry for the scream, but you're not going to see. Look at this. I'm looking like the Wicked Witch of the West. I'm dabbing myself with my chin. Um, no bueno there. Um, let's get us a nice foam brush. And do I have? I need some powder to set this with. I just feel, I don't know if you guys feel it, but I am a powder junkie, a setting powder junkie. I do need help, but I don't think I really want it because I am really big. I can't just let this sit on my eyes sticky like that because I know the glitter is going to stick to the lid, but this upper part of the eye, no, it's just sticky and I've got hooded lids pretty bad, so I've got to set it. I've got to set it and then go back over it, the areas. Like, I'm going to try to keep it off the lid and just keep it on the upper part in the crease. And I didn't put nothing under here. It's going to look like Tinkerbell did some things to me. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Now we can get started. Even though I may look like Jigsaw or look like a clown, I feel much more comfortable now to dipping in these colors. So we'll do two looks and we'll do one and one. Alright? I think that'll work good. So I'm going to do the not sassy, but twinkle on the side. And I'm going to just build up the color. It's pigmented, but it's not like if you want to build it up, I can see that working just fine. If you're a build up kind of person. You see how it's kind of faint on me? And I kind of can see it going into my fine lines and wrinkles. But you can build it up. Because I'm that kind of girl that just like, uh-uh. I like it super pigmented. So you can see it. So that's the point. I mean, people used to always say, what do you want to have? You know, rainbow on your face? Yes. I want rainbows, unicorns, tinkers, tinkerbells, and everybody on my face. Yes. I want to look like I just went through a cotton candy machine and came out the wrong side. And that's even on a, on a bad day. That is, okay, so that built up really nice. We gave a nice wash of color. Because this is the one that we, that I showed you that's very neutral. The very first one is very neutral to my skin tone, kind of, but it has like a, a rosiness behind it. Because you can totally see it in the pan that it's kind of rosy. And then you can see it on my eye now, it's kind of rosy. And this is going to be a very simple eye with just these two shades. One, two shades and then the glitter. Okay. So I didn't bring any other palettes over here, sadly. <laughs> on Sunday, though, I have a new palette and a new um, product to bring out. I just don't know which I should do first because I already know I take too long to, to put on eyeshadow and I would take too long to put on anything, you know, um, 
tell me in the comments what you want to see first. I have uh, airbrush makeup that my mom wanted me to try. And I was thinking of doing that on Sunday. And it comes with everything from your foundation, your blush, your highlight, and the um, an eyeshadow palette. Now this bad boy is, that's my kind of girl right there. But if you're not the kind of person that, you know, likes a super pigmented when it touches your eye, I think that's my problem. When I have a lot of, because I have a lot of um, pigmented colors like this and lots of pigments, you don't go through them. But if you have to constantly dip in your pan, I notice those things that I own that I've had to like dip into them and they become my favorite. I hit pan on really fast. Is it me or is it the products? Because I'm thinking that those are just like a product I don't need to rebuy because I go through them so quickly. And it's not eyeshadow at all, but there's some things that you just go through so quickly in eyeshadow palettes, like my e.l.f. palette, the e.l.f. 3 palette, trio palettes, super pigmented, super pretty, use it so much, I've already hit pan in the blue and the burgundy, or blue and the burgundy color that are side by side in that palette, and I, yeah, I want to re, I want to rebuy it again, but do I need to after I've just gone through it so quickly? I feel like, no, I don't know, but anyways, back to what I was saying. Um, would you like to see on Sunday airbrush makeup? Um, we go through it together with the video. I wish I could do a live and a premiere or something like that. That way it would, we could watch the video together and then do the airbrush makeup. But I'm not going to be able to do that because that would take at least an hour of video. Okay, so now moving on to the dreaded glitter. Dun, 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 dun. Um, get us some stiff brushes here. And a concealer brush and make sure that this is nice and tacky on the lid. I'm kind of scared to put it in my inner corner but I'm just gonna stick that all over and then this one I did a little smokier so I'm gonna pull that up here. Alright, you guys, pray for me, y'all. Pray for me. I'm scared to even open my eye because I don't want to be messed up with glitter. Oh, oh. And we should do some setting spray. Yes, dampen the brush. That will probably help. Okay. Okay, because you can see the fear. The fear in me is, is real. I'm not playing right now. Okay. Ooh, no, no, no. Uh-uh, I don't know. Mm. Mm. Like, I've been watching a lot of... I don't know if you guys seen it if you're on Instagram. That every Instagram, every other ad is about glitter and properly putting it on and all this, how it enhances your eye and blah, blah, blah. These are people that can put it on and it doesn't cut you up. And I, I don't know, but... Can you see that? It's got like a, like it has a little yellow eyeshadow in it. But it's not really showing up that good on my skin. It's got a little yellow eyeshadow in it, but a lot of glitter. Oh, I don't know. I'm just so scared. But I bought the, I had to get it just because I have FOMO really bad that I won't get it in my June box for BoxyCharm. They had on um, pop-up. They had our add-ons, whatever they call it, that just that's been going on right now. They got the Violet Bosses palettes that they were showing that have the one side of shimmers and glitters and the other side of the shadows. They had them both on sale for $12 each. When we all know Violet Boss costs way more than that. There's glitter flying around me everywhere. Like, I can just, oh my god. It's pretty, don't get me wrong. It's just... I don't know what my worry is about glitter. I don't know what it is. Why I just can't pull myself to get back into glitter. Or get into glitter. I've never actually been into glitter. At all. 
but I know somebody who is, and she better have her Z ballot, because I gave her a Z ballot already. Give this to my granddaughter's mom. <laughs> she really likes glitter. She's a sweetheart. She can do the glitter. I can't do it. Now this one, now this darker glitter went on way better, like foil, but it's still, I don't know, it's still scary to me. But oh yeah, the Bada Boss glitters look like they'll be amazing. Oh, and I did it again. I didn't finish my topic. So my topic was, did you want to see the airbrush makeup on Sunday or do you want to see a new indie brand, same indie brand, Sola look, but a new palette from them. They came out with a graduation palette um, and it's 90210 themed graduation. And it's so pretty. It's got the original cast and crew on there and Dylan is on there. Luke Perry, God rest his, little, his lovely soul. Oh. Yeah, he, we lost him to cancer. That was a handsome, handsome man. Okay, now, I'm not going to lie, this glitter on this, this darker one that I did with the burgundy look, that worked out nice, even though it's on my lashes real thick. This one, with the, the lighter tone, is still very chunky, very loose, even with a setting spray. But the Z palette, super cute. I don't have one that's that size, you know. My Z palette's like Sephora or Ulta size. So, but yeah, let's get rid of this off my face and finish this look. Let me know in the comments if you want to see it. I think I'm going to put it on Instagram too. Um, I'll put it in my, my um, what do you call it, in my stories. If you would like to see that, um, that makeup. Because if not, I was just going to try it in private and then try to get my mom to come on camera and try it on her. But she won't do it. She just refuses. I'm tight lining top and bottom lashes with this, I believe it's Wet n Wild. Yes. Wet n Wild Metallic. It's a green. I have dark, rich, dark bedroom brown eyes. And green and blue seem to make my eyes kind of pop a little bit more. Well, blue, my dad says, makes me look like I'm weepy. Like I've been crying or I'm going to cry. But I think green looks really sexy and really on point. And I'm going to use this Girl Out stick. Because um, this seems to be the wettest eyeliner that I have that will go over a shimmer. So why not put it over this glitter? And I did contact um, Glossy Box about the eyeliner that I had got being dry. And because of shipping, it would take up to 10 weeks for me to get a replacement. And by the time that happens, it would be too late if that one was dried out when I got it. So they just refunded me $6. Which is fine. So what I did to try to save it, um, I put it in a cup with some setting spray to see if, and you fill it up. You fill up the cap with setting spray. If you're ever trying to save your mascara or save your, you know, the very last of your eyeliner, knowing it's your favorite or you accidentally left it a little cracked. This does work, okay? It's just a simple trick that I used to do back when I was, you know, I still am broke, but before I had subscription boxes and I would have to buy my liner and before I got, you know, the cousin sponsorship, what I would do is take the cap, fill it up with the setting spray, even if I went to MAC and got a sample of the setting spray or just built it up there, put it inside really tight and sit it straight up like this and let it just stay by itself for about a week and absorb into because you don't want to try to take the component apart because you could 
I mean, you really could take this all apart and pop it out or even gently pop this out and then use a, uh, a syringe from like the baby's medicine and fill it up with the setting spray to reactivate uh, the, the little cotton swab that's on the inside of here and bring it back to life. And that's what I've done with a lot of my mascaras and things like that that are just, you know, that's back when, especially back in high school, that's when we had to, I had literally had to work almost a month before I can go buy, and you know, one new product because my parents were super cheap and you didn't get paid for housework chores. You got paid for outside jobs. Uh, but you didn't get paid for outside work uh, chores or in-house chores or outside chores. Basic chores were basic chores. You know, you didn't get an allowance for that. You got an allowance. We got a, an allowance for like trips. If we were going to go to like Disneyland or something or to the beach, we got a, an allowance of money that we could spend on gifts to take home and or like something that I wanted at Universal Studios, special like a sweatshirt or something. We got an allowance of money for that, but an allowance to spend um, as far as like getting paid. I didn't understand that when my kids were like, well, you don't give us an allowance. I was like, I didn't get an allowance either. I don't know what you're talking about. I worked, I cleaned, I did my job. That's it. If I wanted to go to the movies and hang out with my friends, my dad would be like, so you better call your grandma, you better call your aunties, your uncles, and see what little jobs they got for you, like, you know, babysitting. Now, that was my big thing. I was, I'm the eldest grandchild. I was a babysitter. And when you wanted your kid babysat and, like, really sat, you called me. We would go to the movies. We'd go to the park. We, I'd tire that tail out. I didn't play. If you had a nap time or a bedtime, we got to that bedtime, and because I had to read my Stephen King books. I wasn't that, I wasn't one of those normal teenagers. Um, even my own kids weren't normal teenagers. We didn't sit up on the phone. I didn't sit up on the phone chit-chatting with friends and party lining or anything. When I had a free minute to myself, oh my goodness, my face was dug in. Even now, if I have a free moment of time, I'm either doing a video or my face is in a book. And it's in a thick Stephen King book. And I'm jumping in there to have the best mind visuals that no movie director could ever duplicate. Ever. I don't feel that any movie director can duplicate what we see in our mind when we read a horror novel or an intense drama or an intense thriller. Like, I don't think they could ever fully... Because they didn't. I mean... In all honesty, they did not fully, oh my goodness, look at the transfer on my upper part. Um, they did not fully embrace what they could have done to it, you know. They didn't, oh, see, I got glitter everywhere. There's glitter, oh my goodness. Yeah, Ruby Ray, your eyeshadow is nice, but honey, this glitter, I'm literally blinking so much because look at it's on my bottom lash line. It's killing me, it's killing me. It's like it's going to get my eye. Um, mm, mm. I don't know what to say. I'm sorry, friends. I'm sorry. Um, we went through this before one time when I did, like, the makeup bingo. Or, no, makeup um, roll of the dice. Those glitters stuck to my eyes, but Lord, no. Okay, let's try this lip. Mm. Is there a sugar seed in here or something? Felt like a... It looks like a sugar crystal. Hold on. We all been getting some issues with our makeup, so I better be. I mean, it smells good, and that that's good. It, should, it must have been a piece of glitter or something, but it looks like a clear, like literally. I don't know if you can see it on the phone. I don't know why we try to get you guys to see things like that, but it's a little sugar crystal. I don't know where it came from, but it's not melting. So what do you think? I totally can rock the eyeshadow. I will not be rocking these glitters again until we see the Violet Boss glitters. We'll see what happens with that. But anyways, 
uh, thank you guys for spending some time with me. I hope you enjoyed the video. I mean, we're here for the unbagging. It was awesome. Oh, let's try the spray. Oops, since we're doing a try-on version, that's a lot of spray. <sighs> that's a lot of rose. Whew. I love the way rose smells, but that spritz a lot at once. That component is, I don't know, i got to get used to it. i got to read it more too, huh? Mm. It's got warning labels on it. I better be careful. It may must have alcohol in it. Or I don't know. All right. I don't think it was a setting spray. Cause it doesn't. It just says it acted like a setting spray, saying on the package. But you gotta be careful. I've been putting on things that are not exactly what they said they're supposed to be. You know. I don't know what to do with the paper. But anyways, have a wonderful blessed day. I will see you Sunday. Um. Remember, so two looks, one palette. Oh, actually, it's two palettes. So two looks, two palettes on Sunday. Or the first time ever, so we can screw up together, um, airbrush foundation and um, makeup tutorial. Because it comes with the whole kit. It comes with the whole, the whole shebang. It's a really pretty kit. And I love you so much. Don't forget to tell somebody they're your hero, the delivery man, your babies. Tell them Jovina Love sends her love. And I have a little good gesture for the day. Just a little one. So if you made it to the end of this video, you're my diehard. You're awesome. You're my hero. And if you can take a moment to yourself, do that. Take a sheet mask, reflect on the fact that you are blessed, you are loved, and generally give out the same vibes. I respect you, and I appreciate your time, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.